Jackie Catalan at 34 is 12 years the senior of Senna van de Vierdonk. She's also one inch taller weight and one pound heavier. The reach advantage on the arms and legs favors the former judoka from the Netherlands. Andrew Glenn will serve as referee for our second bout of four this evening. Three five minute rounds in featherweight action. Van de Vierdonk is in the gray. Jackie Cataline in the black. Cataline starts things out with the hook. And some uppercuts from the clinch. Dirty boxing a la Randy Couture. Nice knee there up the middle though from Van de Vierdonk. Yeah, Senna trying to clinch here, looking for some knees right down the middle, trying to soften up Jackie Cataline. Oh, good nice duck, duck under there. Yeah, nice duck and a big slam. This is exactly what Jackie Stacker, Catalan wants out of this fight. Stacker, Stacker punt. That Senna very dangerous from this position. She's dangerous from everywhere with that arm bar. That is her signature move. Jackie's going to have to watch out for that. Don't go in the guard. Don't go in the guard. Keep your knee in there. Corner of Jackie Cataline telling her, don't go into the guard. Back to the feet. One minute gone as Van de Vierdonk tries to come in behind a jab. Landed that big right hand, though. Yeah, she sure did. Paige Van Zandt. They started with a high pace. Can they keep it up? Gosh, I hope so, because this is making for a really exciting fight already. Uh, the wrestling, impressive. Jackie competed in uh, Olympic trials, U.S. Open champion, I believe, twice, and she's showing it, and then also her striking in the clinch. Extremely impressive. Tyron Woodley, Jackie Cataline with the big takedown there, but Von de Vierdonk was able to get right back to her feet. How can Cataline keep her down? And Jackie had the big cake, big slam right on the, um, right on the back, and what I saw immediately uh, was the jiu-jitsu coming into play, and you got to be very cautious. Jackie said she did not watch a lot of videotape. You might want to watch a couple takes of this one because she was immediately looking for arm bars like she had been there before, so I think in the second and third round, if it makes it to that point, we may see a submission in this fight. And Randy, I already mentioned your name once because we saw that, that, that little clinch, the dirty uppercuts. Could Cataline get back to that here against the cage? I think that's a key. She needs to use this clinch and, and, and her wrestling ability to her advantage here. Let those hands go from that attached position, that dirty boxing. There's the duck under again right there. She's using her wrestling effectively and letting her hands go effectively as well. If she's up against the cage, go down there. Interesting there, uh, Kenny, that uh, Cataline does not want to go down into the guard of Senna Van de Vierdon. Yeah. yeah, and Van de Vierdon obviously so comfortable, in fact, that she actually jumped guard there against Cataline. Cataline now here tied up the right arm of Senna. Both ladies doing a great job in the clinch, but very intriguing to see the exchanges. Oh, big knee from Cataline. That got Van der Vierdonk's attention for sure. Nice one two there from Jackie Cataline. Responded by Senna van der Vierdonk with the same. Van der Vierdonk kind of went to that turtle position looking for a rolling knee bar. Nice shot by Cataline. Stop Van der Vierdonk in her track. She's hurt. Good power here from Jackie Cataline. There's a right hand, and that one stumbles Senna Van de Vierdonk again. One, two to follow. Yeah, second combination in a row that she backed up. Van de Vierdonk, who's in big trouble right now. This fight is very close to being stopped as Jackie Cataline wails away with the right hand. Cataline's got some crazy power. Van de Vierdonk has a chin. She's very tough, trying to hang on. But this is not ending well here. You can't stay there like that. You can't stay Land there. looking closely, Guys, warning Van de Vierdonk she needs to defend herself. Big knee to the body. This fight's over, Kenny. Jackie Cataline wailing away, and that's it. Andrew Glenn waves it off. Jackie Cataline putting the striking on display to go with that wrestling. Yeah, no question about it. Van de Vierdonk really gave the referee no other choice but to stop that fight. 
tried to hang in there, but my goodness, the power from Catiline, very impressive. And Sean O'Connell is in the cage with the official result. All right, thank you, Kenny Florian. The stoppage in this fight comes at four minutes and nine seconds into the very first round. Your winner by TKO, Jackie Catiline. <laughs> Jackie Catalina says, oh, we got to hear the critiquing. Yes, we do have to hear the critiquing. First of all, though, congratulations. Impressive performance. Look, we saw the wrestling on display again. You picked her up, you slammed her down, but then you let her back up. Was it always part of the game plan to let this thing happen on the feet? Um, honestly, my game plan is always to go to what I'm good at, which is wrestling. But I know she has a little bit of jujitsu. A lot of her fights ended with arm bars. And I didn't get a contract the first time. And I wrestled and submitted. So I thought I'd show a little bit of on, on my feet. Well, you did show a lot on your feet, and you told us last year that you had power in the hands. You definitely put that on display tonight, and the knees to the body. How well-rounded is your striking game right now? It's pretty well-rounded. Um, it was well-rounded the first time. I just, it was my first fight ever. My first time stepping into the cage, and every time that you are doing something new, you're gonna go back to what you're good at. So, you know, I went back to my wrestling, but I, I have everything. Well, we saw a little bit of everything on display. Let's hear what our celebrity judges thought of this performance. Randy Couture, I want to start with you. Look, the wrestling, we didn't doubt Jackie Catalina's wrestling. We saw some of that last year. Did you know she had hands like this? No, the power was impressive. That 3-2 combination landed several times. You followed that up nicely with the knee to the body once you had her in trouble. Uh, the power was very, very good, and that's a great combination between having that wrestling ability and being able to, to box, to be able to fight. Thank you, sir. All right, Tyron Woodley, we've talked about it. It's not just about beating your opponent in the Challenger Series. You have to impress the fans at home. You have to impress the judges. And Jackie said wrestling wasn't enough the first time to impress you guys, so I had to show off the hands. Are you impressed? I'm impressed, and I like the way she came in with a chip on her shoulder. She came in, got the party cracking with the check hook, and she kept on that 3-2 over and over again. But what she did was she put her destiny in her own hands. She saw an opportunity, she smashed the gas, and started letting the leather go. So that puts you in position. Paige Van Zant, the pressure is on for this uh, celebrity panel because in the first fight, we saw a finish in the second round. Now we see a first round TKO gives you a lot to think about. It does, but honestly, Jackie keeps saying that she has to go to what she's good at, right? The wrestling? No, you're good at everything. That striking was highly impressive. The cage control, the knowledge that you had in that fight, thoroughly impressive through and through. Um, I wasn't here to not vote for you the first time, but you're definitely in the running for my vote tonight. Thank you. First round finish for Jackie Catalina, and we will see her later among our finalists, potentially.